think you can trust Entra ID? I mean, really trust it? Microsoft says you can just, you know, trust me, bro. Well, I've spent weeks researching this and I found out some things that you need to know if you're really gonna trust Entra ID. But I'm warning you, it could change the way you're using the cloud. One of the reasons Azure AD was renamed to Entra ID is because it's not what you think it is. It's not Active Directory in the cloud. It's not even an Active Directory at all. AD is a traditional identity service that has an OU structure, FISMO roles, group policies, domains and trusts, sites and services, etc. Entra ID is a cloud-based identity and access management service. No OUs, no GPOs, no domains or sites or any of that stuff. It just has users, groups, and devices. So how do you grant permission to all your stuff? Well, the answer to that depends on what you're granting access to. You have both cloud resources and domain resources. And if you wanna learn the cloud way, comment below with the word access, and I'll make a video on that for you. Now, what about all your domain resources? And I don't mean the ones on-prem, I'm talking about the ones in the cloud. And you know, more and more services are moving towards this 100% cloud future. Will all that leave you behind? And what if your domains can't move into the cloud? And even if they could, can you really trust Entra ID with all your stuff? Well, I've actually got the perfect way for you to trust Entra ID, literally. Entra Domain Services is an Active Directory cloud service that you can use without exposing your on-prem domain into the cloud. And today, Entra Domain Services has a new feature where you can set up three different kinds of trusts with your on-prem domain. That way, all of your domain stuff can stay safe in your control, and you can still take advantage of all that 100% cloud future today. Now, when we build anything in the cloud, the first thing we need is a resource group. And in this group, I've got a virtual network. That's already been configured with all the DNS that I need for my domain service, and it's been network peered with my on-prem environment. And that way the two domains can talk to each other and set up a trust. Now, if you don't have an Entra domain yet, you can go to the top search bar and type domain. Then click over here on Entra Domain Services, and let's quickly create a new domain for you. Pick your subscription and resource group, and then give your domain a name, pick your region, and now for the SKU. In setting up a trust, you need to use either the enterprise or premium SKU. If you aren't sure which one of those is right for you, you can click that link right over here and read the doc. When you're ready, click next. I'll select my existing network and subnet and then click next again. Now we have to tell the domain who the admins will be. So you can click over here and manage the admins group and then add a new member pick them from the list, and then when you're done, hit select at the bottom, and then close the X right over here. And as for the notifications, I usually leave this set to default, that way the Entra ID global admins and the Entra domain admins both know what's going on. Then click next. Here on the synchronization tab, there's a actual hidden sync feature that happens between Entra ID and Entra domain services, and you can pick how much of your stuff in Entra ID will sync on over. So if you don't want everything in the cloud be over there, just click over here. And you can also set up a filter, that way you can only move over the specific groups that you want. When you've got all that sorted, click next. Now the default security setup already has a hardened environment, but feel free to read through all of these different links, and then configure your stuff as you need to, and then click next. Add your tags like you should for all of the resources you build in the cloud. And then when you click create, you're gonna see this warning. You won't be able to change any of these items without deleting your domain. So be sure everything's the way you want it. And then when you click create, the build will take about 20 to 30 minutes. Once it's all built, you can click over here and check out your new domain. And then you first want to verify your SKU is enterprise or premium, then go to the properties blade. Here you want to copy down the IP addresses of your new domain controllers, and then go back to your on-prem domain. Open your DNS manager, Right click over here and add a new conditional forwarder. Type in the name of your new domain and then put in the IPs for your new domain controllers. Then you can check this box to save it into Active Directory. And then we want to use the all DNS servers in this domain option and click OK. Now, if your DNS and network peering are all working and you've got port 53 open, 
you can go to a command prompt, type in NSLOOKUP for your new domain, and it'll resolve correctly. Now click Start, and then type Domain, and then open AD Domains and Trusts. Right-click on your domain and go to Properties, and then go to the Trust tab, and we're going to click here and add a new trust. Type in the name of your new Entra domain, and we're going to want this to be a forest-level trust, and now we need the trust direction. Now, if you only have cloud users who you need to access your on-prem resources and apps, you can set up a one-way incoming trust. And if you also have some users on-prem that you don't want to sync up into the cloud, but they need access to those glorious cloud resources, set up a two-way trust, which is what I'll do, and then click Next. And because the other half of this trust will be set up in Entra ID, we're gonna choose this domain only and make it forest-wide, unless of course you have more than one forest that need to be more specific. Now, as for the trust password, this is how the two domains will do their handshake. So we're gonna need to enter this same password into Entra later, so don't lose it. Click next a few more times. And for now, we wanna not confirm the trust because we have to set up the other side first. So go ahead and click finish. Back in your new Entra domain, go to the trust blade on the left, and then we're gonna add a new trust. Enter the details here for your on-prem domain, including that trust password that you just set up and add two on-prem DNS servers. That way the intra domain knows who it needs to talk to. As for the trust direction, you see we've got our three options here, incoming, outgoing, or two-way. And since we did two-way on-prem, that's what we'll do here. And then click save. And then we've got another warning that these settings will not be able to be changed. So if you need to alter your trust later, you're gonna need to delete it and build up a new one. Then click okay when you're ready. And in less than a minute, we're done. Back in the on-prem domain, the trust is also complete and everybody can communicate securely. Now, the easiest way to test your trust is to use your existing on-prem services from the Entra domain. So I've got a file share here that I want to use. And in the Entra domain, I've created a new OU and I've got a group in here called File Server Access. Now, with the two-way trust, you can add users from that on-prem domain into this cloud domain group or you could do it the other way around if you need to. And once you've added all your users, go to the properties on your file share then go to the security tab. This is where we set up the NTFS permissions. We're gonna add that AD group, then go to the share tab and add the same group as permissions there and it works. Now you can also test this by running an app as a user from the other side of the domain within your session. So I'll open a command prompt on the Entra domain side using the run as command for one of my on-prem users, and I'll open a program like PowerShell. Once you enter your password, PowerShell will open, and in the title bar here, it says that this is working as the on-prem user, which means we've got our trust working in both directions. So now that you really can trust Entra ID, you can keep your domain safe and secure while taking advantage of those 100% cloud future resources. But actually none of that will mean anything unless you understand this video. Happy learning.